If you have a BMW and a, your tires look like that on the inside, stay with us, we'll show you how to fix that now. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you have a BMW guys that wears your tires on the inside, and it could be on the front or the rear. In our case, it's on the rear tires, guys. We'll explain what causes that and how to fix it. There are three reasons, okay? Three reasons that can cause wear on your tires on the inside of the tires, guys. So stay with us. We'll explain what uh, what can cause that and how to fix it. We have a BMW, guys, here. Three series, okay? But doesn't matter what BMW we have, guys. The procedure will be practically the same. So make sure you stay with us until the end, guys. And We'll explain what needs to be done to fix that now. So check out our tire now, okay? How terribly bad it is on the inside. Okay, that shouldn't be like that now, guys. And you can see on the outside, it looks normal. So let's go ahead and start on uh, explaining what can cause, okay, your excessive tire wear on the inside. So what is the first reason, guys, for a BMW actually to wear uh, tires on the inside, especially the rear? Phone will be the same, guys. Uh, everything will apply to the phone as well, but uh, an excessive negative camber, guys, can cause your tires to wear on the inside. I'm, I'm talking about excessive uh, negative camber, guys. Okay, what is a uh, negative camber? Okay, let me explain now. Okay, camber is, guys, when you have your tire, okay, tilted to the inside or to the outside of the vehicle. And negative camber, okay, usually goes, okay, like that, to the inside, and your tire, okay, the front, uh, the, uh, the top uh, end of the tire will be more in. And as you know, BMW tires, okay, tend to be that way. Check out ours, uh, what it looks like now, okay. You can see the top end of the tire is quite a bit in. This is, guys, uh, natural for BMW. They come with negative camber usually. Now we need to check the specs for your vehicle, but the hours should be between one and a half uh, and I think 1.4 and, and 1.8 degrees. And even with your phone you can check, but we have the two guys right here, very inexpensive too. Okay, you have to calibrate it. Then you're going to put it on the brake roller. We're going to read the camber, okay, on that thing. And ours guys is at two. Okay, two degrees camber on this side. Let's go on the other side, okay, and see what we have there as well. And I'm going to explain, guys, okay, if that's not the case, what else it is. Okay, let's put it on. And we guys have again about two, okay, two degrees, a little bit less, between 1.5 and two, so it will be about 1.75 on this side. Almost identical on both sides, as you can see, about the same. But check out the tires now, guys. Okay, let me just go under the vehicle and show you the tires, okay, on the inside. It looks terrible. Okay, check it out. It's wore out on the inside terribly, guys. You can even see uh, metal coming out of it. On the outside, it looks fine. On the other side, the tire is fine. There is no wear at all. Okay, let me get there and show you. On this side, the tire looks great. On the other side, the tire, guys, is, as you can see, completely shot on the inside. So, what causes that now, guys? Okay, in our case, it's not camber. Camber is uh, the way the wheel, okay, is tilted to the inside or the outside. So, if it's not the camber, what else is wearing your tires on the inside, guys? Okay, it could be, okay, now we have the term toe in, toe out. Let me explain what that means. So, when you guys have the tires next to each other, okay, if they're parallel, the toe will be zero, guys. Okay, if the tires, guys, on the left and the right side, okay, are open on the front end, okay, like that, this one will be known as toe out. Why? Because the front end of the tire will be out. What will cause that now? Okay, it will cause excessive tire wear on the inside of the tire. If you have toe in, toe in is when you put the front end of the tire in, the alignment is off and the front end of the tire is in more than it should. What will cause that now? We're on the outside of the tire. In our case, it's on the inside. So uh, we either have a toe out, guys, or uh, a bed camber. Okay, toe out, bed camber, or stay with us to see the third reason. But in our case, guys, we measured everything. Camber is good. We measured the toe. How we did that? Okay, we got a tape measure and we measured the distance from this tire to the other tire and on the front and the rear. 
we have exactly the same distance so we do not have toe in or toe out ours is neutral guys so there must be another reason and we're going to go ahead jack the car up in the air and we're going to see guys okay what is causing our wear on a bmw now so we're going to remove the wheel and we're going to explain okay all that checks out guys so far what else could be the reason for your tires to wear on the inside and you're going to see how bad ours is in just a second okay guys check out our tire now okay on the inside it's terrible okay right check it out really really bad tire now we need to go ahead get it out of the way and as you know bmw suspension it's pretty guys okay it's pretty complicated suspension so we need to go ahead and start okay messing with it and see what is causing our our play and our wear in the tire now so with the tire removed now guys okay you need to inspect all your bushings okay especially this one right here you have a bushing here uh, you have so many guys so many bushings on that thing you have one right there you have two okay one main one here one right there and one on top and if you guys develop play in any of those and you can just develop the play only under load when you load the car up okay check it out ours is moving quite a bit here okay this is a bad bushing what will happen okay what will happen now when we start uh, driving okay and the car puts more load usually it's four of us in the car okay we'll put more weight on the back and actually that bushing will compress more than it should as a result guys okay the toe and the camber will be uh will be uh out of balance guys and as a result as a result what will happen guys we'll start getting a tire wear so if your alignment is good okay you check your toe your camber and everything's good check out for all wore out uh, suspension parts another thing that can cause that now in sometimes okay it could be even a bad strut so always inspect those ours is not in the best shape but that's not the case in ours it's still working pretty good there is absolutely like no play okay in the strut you can grab it and see if you guys change any of the parts here any of the controllings bushings take it for an alignment again you always have to because uh, that's uh, maybe the new one might be just a few millimeters shorter than the old one and as a result your alignment will be off again so always guys when you do suspension work check uh, take it for uh, alignment so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time